the MP, Sir David Amos, was killed by an Islamic radical, knifed in broad daylight in front of many witnesses while he was conducting uh, business in his constituency. He was well known for being a man of the people and wanted to be known by his constituents and stood uh, for his people. He was an MP in the best sense of the word, a representative for his people, a member of parliament for uh, who stood for his people. He was a man of the people. This was a man committed to being an MP. He wasn't committed to being on the gravy train. He did not want any mysteri ministerial roles. He was committed to his constituency. I think is an inspiration not just to politicians but to religious leaders, to uh, parish priests who do not want to be in the parish but want to go up the greasy pole towards uh, up to being area deans and being uh, archbishops, archdeacons and Archb uh, archbishop of Canterbury, bishop, whatever the levels up there. Everybody, it appears, wants to go up the greasy pole, whether in religion or in politics. Nobody actually wants to serve the people. Nobody wants to be a servant of the people. So, and Sir David Amos was a rare jewel. He was a rare jewel. He was committed to his people. And yet, tragically, he was killed while he was conducting his duties, while he was conducting his constituency duty duties by, let's not mince words here, by a Muslim. The person that's been apprehended in connection with the murder of Sir David Amos is a Muslim. The religion of peace has struck again. The religion of peace has struck again. There is no denying at all that most of the prisoners that are in jail for terrorist offences, most of them are Muslims. Most of them are Muslims. More than 80% are Muslims. And yet, Muslims constitute less than 1% of the population in Britain. Why is this religion of peace so violent? You will remember that a few months ago, a few weeks ago, a Christian preacher had a face slashed for disagreeing with Islam. Again, the assailant seems to be a Muslim. This religion of peace seems to have a violent streak. Hayton Tash, the Christian preacher in mind. Uh, you can check out the video on the Sun newspaper website if you so choose. But why is this religion of peace so violent? And here's the most odd thing. In reaction to the murder of Sir David Amos, the Mayor of London tweeted about the passing away of Sir David Amos as if he died in his sleep, as if he died after a long illness at a hospice, as if he passed away peacefully after a long struggle with Parkinson's disease. What an odd way of reacting to somebody who's been murdered, a politician who's been murdered. The mind just boggles about the religion of peace and its violent streak. Frankly, it is no surprise when this happens because the people that are doing this are following the tenets of their religion. Don't believe what George Bush Jr. said. They are only following the tenets of their belief. This religion of peace is not peaceful at all. It is violent. It is violent. It's got a history of violence. Centuries of violence. It is no surprise when its adherents behave like they do. They're only obeying what their sacred text, the Quran, tells them to do. 
let's not mince words. The religion of peace hates peace. The religion of peace. The misnomered religion of peace, so called by George Bush. This religion of peace actually hates peace.